Okay, so Nick, when I'm, when I'm working on this problem, the main important thing that I like to do guys when I'm graphing parabolas is I want to make sure, yes, did I write it wrong? Oh. Uh, uh, so when I'm graphing this, the main important thing that I want to be looking at is determine, is this going to be a parabola that's going to open up or down, or is this going to be a parabola that's going to open left or right? We know that when we have x squared, a graph always opens up or down, right? So therefore, when we have a y squared, we know the graph is going to go open to the right or open to the left, correct? So this is going to be a horizontal graph. And there is actually enough us to graph it. So the main important thing, though, is we still need to find the vertex, the axis of symmetry. All right. So the vertex, well, first of all, let's write out what is our standard form for a, a parabola that has a horizontal axis of symmetry. That's x equals a times y minus k plus h. So to find our vertex, remember the vertex of a graph is still h comma k. So in this example, it's going to be negative 3 comma negative 1. Right? Because remember, it's always opposite of h. Yes? Yeah. So now we need to find our axis of symmetry. Now remember, the axis of symmetry is now horizontal, yes? Huh? Oh, right there? I did spell symmetry wrong. Thank you. So thank you. It's been a rough morning so far. Um, so we have axis symmetry. Now we know that this is a horizontal graph, so we're going to have a horizontal axis symmetry. right? So therefore, remember, our axis symmetry always has to go through our vertex. Alex, it always has to go through our vertex. Okay. So since it's always going to be going into our vertex, um, what I'm simply going to do is now say, all right. So what coordinate is it going to? What coordinate is going to be related to my h or my k? Your k. All right. And then, since it's horizontal, it's going to be y equals k. So in this example, it's going to be y equals negative 1. So let's go and plot this so far, just to go and see what we exactly have. So right now, I have a graph. It's going over negative 3, down 1. 1, 2, 3, down 1. That's my vertex. It has an axis of symmetry at y equals negative 1. All right. Now what we need to do is determine the opening. So we look at our a, which is 3, which is greater than 0. So when we have an opening that's positive for a horizontal parabola, does it open to the right or to the left? To the right. So now my graph, I know my graph opens to the right. Yes? Yes? OK, very good. Um, so now, let's just go ahead and there's a couple ways we guys can do this. Um, you know, we can easily graph the rest of this just by plotting you know, using a table. But I'm going to help you guys use this. But we're going to sketch the graph by using the focus, directrix, and the lattice rectum. All right? So the focus in this example, if you guys remember, is going to be your focus is now, since my parabola opened up to the right, my focus is now going to be moved to the right. So therefore, I need to now determine what my focus is going to be. So remember, the focus is going to be um, h plus 1 over 4a comma k. Notice how this is different than the vertical one. All right? This is different than the vertical one. right? Because now we're moving it left or right, so it's going to be plus 1 over 4a. So now I look at this and I say, well, 1 over 4a. That's going to equal 1 over 12, right? So my h is going to be negative 3 plus 1 12th, um, which is going to be, let's see, 36. So that would be 33. Over 33 comma h, which is negative 1. So that's um, very, not only moving, you're only really moving um, over one, you know, you're only moving 1 12th in, so this is going to be very close of a foci. And your directrix is now 
your directrix is now going to be um, very, uh, is going to be the same thing, but now it's going to be uh, y equals h minus 1 over 4a, which I'm sorry, which would be minus, yeah, 1 4a, which is going to be equal, um, 1 over 4a is negative 1 12th. So therefore, oh, I'm sorry, minus 1 12th. So you're going to have negative 3 minus 1 12th. So that would be um, negative 30. So it'd be negative 39 over 12. So that's your directrix. Then we can determine the lattice rectum. And remember, the lattice rectum is going to be absolute value of 1 over a. Well, 1 over a is 1 third. So therefore, our distance of our lattice rectum is really, if this is down negative 1, it's like 1 sixth of the way. So you're going to have a very skinny parabola. All right. Now we can verify these points. All right, I'm not going to ask you um, for this type problem. Not, I'm not going to ask you to verify them. <laughs> but what I can simply do is, if you guys wanted to test a point, we can easily just plug in a value for y, or plug in a value in for y, and see what the x you know value is going to give us. Right? If I plug in my value for y, I could see what you know my x coordinate be. Um, so if I plugged in, let's do uh, when is y equals zero. So if I do zero plus one is one squared. So when y equals 0, um, x equals 0, right? Yeah. So you can see that that is going to be a coordinate. Right? So therefore, the graph has to go through y equals 0 over 0. And that's just going to kind of give you your sketch of the graph. And that's all I'm really asking you guys to do is a sketch the graph. To make some more coordinate um, exact points, we could plug in more points. We could plug in 1. 1 plus 2 is 4. Oh, I'm sorry, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 3 is 9. So at x equals 1, we're going all the way over to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes? 0, comma 0. And then, or this is um, 9, comma 1. Yes? And then you can use the reflection, the axis symmetry, to reflect over to your other two points. Okay?